This substance is one of the deadliest poisons known to man. Just one teaspoon of it could kill thousands of people. Its name is botulinum toxin. It kills by slowly paralyzing the nerve endings in your body from the head downward. Finally, you are unable to breathe. But this woman has paid hundreds of dollars to be injected with the toxin. Botox is only one of a number of products, which are a purified form of botulinum. When a minute amount is injected into the forehead, it paralyzes the muscles. OK, frown again. Relax. No more frowning, so no more wrinkles. This effect can last for up to five months, and it's the latest craze for people determined to stay youthful. OK. I find that, I mean, obviously, it, it kind of flattens out your forehead and stuff like that, and it does take away lines, undoubtedly. Um, which, you know, cosmetically is, 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 is always nice. In the cosmetic industry, we use Botox to paralyze certain muscles that we do not need, so to speak. Uh, when you frown and the lines around your eyes, uh, it's regarded to be the reason why some people look unfriendly or angry, and we paralyze those muscles, and it gives them a more pleasant look. Botox is, is um, extremely successful as a treatment because it um, allows people to have a relatively non-invasive procedure. It's also, of course, very popular because it's not a permanent result, so people feel more comfortable using it. This amazing toxin has uses which go beyond the cosmetic. OK. But it has also changed the life of one little girl. Jessica Bess was born with a medical problem that only became apparent when she began to toddle. Jessica was about two and a half when we noticed that she was dragging her right leg. Um, she'd been very slow to sit up, she'd been very slow to attempt walking. Her body was very floppy, but being a first child, we didn't know that to be to anything different. We went to see a paediatrician privately, and he told us there and then on the spot that, that she had cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy is caused by brain damage and results in permanent movement disorders. Jessica's leg muscles were tight and rigid. She could only walk on tiptoe and found it difficult to join her friends for fun and games. No child wants to be the outsider. Um, so, obviously, you know, if it's in the playground, skipping, running, if it's a sports day, um, the, the last thing any child wants is to be the one that can't take part. Thank you, I'm just annoyed. Slowly back, Jessica, very slowly. We first met Jessica over two years ago. She was walking, but very unsteady in her walking, right up on her tiptoes. Her balance was poor. She was running everywhere. She found it very hard to walk slowly and in a controlled way. Jessica's medical team made an extraordinary suggestion. They wanted to inject her calf muscles with botulinum toxin. We were told quite clearly that previously it had been used as bone warfare. So, that's quite scary stuff. If you inject botulinum toxin into the stiff calf muscles, you loosen the muscles and help the children get their feet down flatter so that their balance is improved, you hope, and they can then walk more, more easily. Go back over to the bed again. Good girl. There wasn't a huge amount of evidence. We weren't in a position to be able to talk to another family that had been through it. Um, and whilst I'll always strive to find these things, when you're actually suddenly given the opportunity, you suddenly think, whoa, hang on a moment, I, you know, is this the right thing? You're very good, Jessica. Having been assured that the small dosage needed would not be toxic, Jessica's parents made the decision to proceed with the experiment. Jessica's legs were injected with toxin and then put in a series of plaster casts to make sure the muscles remained stretched. Are you all right, Jess? 
Nhưng chọn như từ lạc nè. It was probably three to four weeks after the injection. Suddenly, we looked at Jessica, and she was standing with both feet sort of flat. That was the moment when we actually thought, you know, this is unbelievable. I mean, you know, she is doing something that she could not ever have done before. We're, we're just the right time. Jessica has now had two sets of injections. The effects will only last for a few months at a time, but accompanied by physiotherapy, may mean that her limbs do not permanently you know deform like? into twisted shapes. Off you go then. Done this before. That's it. Her balance has improved a lot. This is a girl who couldn't walk in a slow and controlled way. She now can. And we heard from her today the fact she can now balance on a beam. She couldn't do that before. She can jump a little bit. She couldn't do that before. And I don't think that's just her becoming older and more mature and... and I think it is actually the injections have allowed her to develop some of these skills. Is it staying as good? Are your feet staying as flat? I can do running much better because I was right on tiptoes and so it was hard to run. And I just can catch up. She started to learn to hop. She started to be able to turn a skipping rope. She took up ballet dancing, she horse rides. And, you know, in all honesty, she would not have been, a she would not have been able to do those things. Good girls. Good girls, opposition and march. The Botox injections have dramatically changed her life. Full stop, end of story. Uh,